So folks, one of the questions you guys pepper me with all the time, and rightfully so, because it's a darn good question, is why aren't other places being looked at? That when it comes to old Donnie, why aren't they looking at his other houses, his other businesses? Why only one place? Especially given that when they went into that place, they found a bunch of stuff and a lot of it was unsettling. Like there were folders that were empty, classified folders, empty. We have that video of Donald Trump flying on his plane with boxes that look awfully similar to the boxes they found at Mar-a-Lago. We don't know if they're the same, but they could be. You have all of these things really indicating that there could also be stuff in Jersey and New York and wherever else Donald Trump and his kids or his workers or whatever own property. And so increasingly, you're seeing prosecutors make calls to search other places. And I have a video for you, a couple clips to showcase how one, the dangers of Donald Trump theft of these classified documents is nowhere near closed yet. And how opening up the search to other venues is, is not only a possibility, but would absolutely destroy Trump and tear apart his already weak legal team. He just thought about declassifying something and it thereby made these super sensitive documents automatically declassified, just doesn't hold anymore. Well, if, I think, therefore, it's declassified. I mean, if that were the case, you know, any president's thoughts could become incredibly dangerous. As you said, these things are classified for a reason. They're protecting national security. Some countries' nuclear secrets apparently are in these documents. So just talk about how the intelligence community now can move forward. I mean, Donald Trump is accusing the FBI of planting the documents in his house. First, he said he took them. Then he said, well, no, they were planted by the FBI. Judge Deary has said, OK, prove it. He gave him a deadline. He's like, bring me back evidence that somebody planted something there that wasn't already there. You know, and, and so every one of his planes is being knocked down. But just talk about the importance for the investigation and for the national security of this country that now the government can reaccess these documents. Well, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, uh, according to media reporting, is conducting uh, a damage assessment based on the, the classified documents that were recovered at Mar-a-Lago. Um, and those are only the ones that we know of. We don't know what's missing. But uh, the ones that were recovered, really digging into those and seeing how, uh, in, how sensitive the sources and methods revealed in these different documents. And I have to assume these were intelligence assessments, not individual reports of a particular type of intelligence, but even collectively, there's a lot of intelligence uh, material to sift through. And now it's a question of, again, who had access to what uh, has potentially any of those or any of those assessments, could they have uh, now been the possession of somebody else? Or did someone remember details and shared it with someone who didn't have a, a security clearance? And you know, where it goes from there could be a game of, of telephone. So this is going to take a while for just even on the intelligence side, forget about the law enforcement criminal side that Barbara's more familiar with to figure out the damage that potentially could have been done. And again, to if collection has been lost on certain topics, how do we get that back? And that sometimes you may not get collection back once you lose it and something becomes declassified. So this is going to be a, a, an ongoing challenge for the intelligence community. Well, let me ask you. Given the fact that Donald Trump asserted, essentially, these are mine and I want them, and also that his lawyers, they wanted to see them again, and, and they seem to have this sort of, you know, sort of possessiveness toward them, would that prompt you as an investigator and a national security pro uh, professional to want to, I don't know, search his other properties to see if he's got more? Well, I think that's potentially in play here, because even in the Mar-a-Lago case, uh, if folks remember, uh, beyond what was recovered, there were apparently other blank folders labeled classified, whether they had cover sheets on them, it's not clear to me, but there may have been additional classified informations, and again, probably intelligence assessments in those folders, and where are those, and who had access to them, and, and what did they contain? And these are all questions we don't know on the missing, uh, potentially missing material. Absolutely. And, and Barbara, given the fact that you now have sort of two kind of, you know, sort of chunks of types of judges. You had one judge who was very solicitous, I'll just say that, was just solicitous of Donald Trump's claims that he could theoretically go back to again if, let's say, Bedminster was searched. But that you also have the 11th Circuit saying, no, 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 these belong to the government and they are the ones who have the interest in them. What do you think would be the hurdles that theoretically, if the DOJ were to say, you know what, now we do want to search other properties? Do you, could Trump play this same game again and go back to the same judge, Cannon, and do this dance again? 
Well, if they looked in Bedminster, you have you are uh, then under the jurisdiction of a judge in that district. So District of New Jersey, if we're talking about Bedminster to get in the door there, they would need to be able to establish DOJ would probable cause not only that a crime has been committed, which I think they have now established, but also probable cause to believe that the documents would be stored at that location. And so I can imagine that part of the damage assessment and the criminal investigation is to investigate what happened to these documents in the missing folders and to interview people who work at Bedminster to find out if they've seen any evidence of this. Because if they can get a witness to say, oh, yeah, I saw some boxes come in the door, that could be enough probable cause to then get a search warrant for that location. Now, if Trump wanted to challenge that, he would have to do it in New Jersey and begin right. his judge shopping all over again. Or, or if you if they want to talk about Trump Tower, where he, you know in the grill there's these documents. It's like, York, what is yeah. this? So yeah, it would be it would be wherever, whatever jurisdiction. So can and can't control it all. Interesting. Um, so listen to that. It really lays out again how all of this is still very dangerous. That yeah, there might be the possibility that when they go through all of these 100 so or so documents, that they actually determine nothing is missing and there's no imminent national security risk. But what if there is something missing? What if there's a document missing? What if there's a document that's been destroyed? What if been, there's a document that's been suspiciously modified? What if we, any of these things have happened? Then you have to start thinking, where are those other documents? Where are the copies? Where are the modifications? Any of those things. Now, it might be the case that things were just innocently lost. You still got to find them. Or there could be something malicious. Trump hiding it at his other properties. He's given it to people foreign or domestic. It doesn't necessarily matter what the issue is, it's that you need to rectify it. And that could lead to searches of other Trump properties. And this is big because as noted there, you know, people really are saying that you have to hit them at every jurisdiction. And it'll be harder for Trump to find crony judges in New York and in New Jersey and wherever his other properties are than in Florida, which has a more conservative judiciary than a lot of other states where Donald Trump owns property. And this is bad for him also because because at the end of the day, his team has already spread thin. We've talked about this even back in July before the search happened, before all of these new legal issues, before the new thing by the New York AG, before all of that went down, they were crying in front of judges asking for delays in Trump trials because he did not have enough lawyers to handle all of the legal onslaught hitting him simultaneously. And so if you bring a similar case, the one they brought to Aileen Cannon, in Jersey, in New York, and wherever they need to get a warrant to search Trump properties, it's going to be really bad for him. And I think you might be able to easily establish probable cause, which is why some top prosecutors, at least people who are formerly prosecutors but renowned, are demanding this. Apparently, according to Raw Story, Fed should hunt for evidence Trump stashed classified papers at Bedminster, former prosecutor. And if you read the article, it seems to imply maybe that it's not just Bedminster, but other properties as well. In any case, this has to go forward. If they have any sniff that they didn't get everything at Mar-a-Lago, and that's my suspicion, they got to hit every Trump property and the kids too.